What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we're going to do another Christmas craft. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. So this craft is going to be using scrap wood. Wood that I had left over from some previous projects. Let me show you what we're going to do. Alright, I have this piece of scrap wood here. And I'm going to do this craft in two different styles. Um, I'm going to take this and cut it down maybe in half or maybe in a third. A little bit smaller than this. And I got some of this molding here. The... Uh, quarter round molding got some of that and I got another piece a little bit longer um, we're gonna be making a Christmas tree shape out of sticks sticks that are guess what laying in my yard from after a storm so I'm gonna go around my yard gather up sticks in different thicknesses and lengths and everything since I'm going to make two of these so I'm going to collect quite a bit and for this project you want to try and get sticks that are as straight as possible don't worry about stuff like this you can always cut that down and use this part here that's really straight and if you're worried about bugs or anything getting in your house before you do this project you can take this these sticks you can put them in an the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on 350 or you can or not 350 200 put it on 200 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes you can soak in them water or you can freeze it for like two or three days just to kill off any bugs that might be in here all right so my thing now is to go ahead and collect some sticks Now I want to figure out how long I want to make this. I'm going to maybe, let's see, these are my scrap pieces that I have here. Let's see, that's 12 inches, so let's maybe, let's make this about 5 inches. Yeah, 5 inches is good, or 5 and a half. Let's do 5 and a half, 5 and a half inches. down and this piece is skinny enough it's a little more about six and a quarter inches wide so skinny enough to use on my circular saw I mean my miter saw being that this is a Christmas craft I want to paint this background and I have some of this John Deere green paint. I'm going to use that. And I just want a light dusting on it. I don't want it completely painted. Dark, dark, dark. Just a light dusting just like that. It's going to be perfect for what I want. Now I'm going to use this quarter, quarter round molding as a border 
all the way around. I have this piece and I just measured it. Y'all, I couldn't have got more lucky. Look at that. Fits perfect. So all I have to do is put my cut, miter cut on that side at 45 degrees. Awesome. And my next cut, I'll measure top to bottom here. Miter cuts are tricky, y'all. So what you want to do for to get good miter cuts, you want to measure your length first and then do your miter cuts. All right, so I need this piece to fit in with this piece to fit in with this piece. So I want to lay this on top like that. You see that corner? So I'm going to draw it like that. So I know I need to cut that off. That helps me keep these pieces in alignment. Otherwise, I I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I mess it up every time. That's okay. That's okay. And there you go. See, it fits. All right, I'll show you also on the bottom. So this piece is going to be, I'll use this for an example. So I need that to overlap this. So I lay the piece I need it to shape, be shaped like on top and then draw my line. And then I know I need to cut that piece off. And There you go. It fits. And there we go. Y'all, I messed up a few times on this, but it's okay. Got it. Got it. We got this. <laughs> Alright, so now I can either glue this like that. And I do need to sand this off a little bit. got... Uh, pencil marks there. I want to sand that off. I can hand sand that. And then I can um, I can use some brad nails. If you don't have brad nailer, that's fine. You don't have to. You can just use uh, just some wood glue would hold this just fine. Alright, so I'm going to use a little bit of wood glue and my brad nailer and try and get these <laughs> so lined up as, as straight as I can. It's not going to be perfect, y'all. Tiffany Outdoors, you know. We don't do pretty and perfect here, do we? Everything is all off and out of sorts. But that's okay. It's going to be okay. It doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. Alright, I'm going to get some wood glue and my brad nailer. I was unable to find my glue. And that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Just gonna tack these in with one inch brad nails. Oops, that didn't go well. Look at that. Ooh, that's going to leave a big gap. I might need to recut that. And these are steady. I think I need to take this off. It did go in at an angle and it kind of messed up the wood a little bit. And this is, I don't mind a small gap. But y'all, that's a big gap. That's a big gap. And look at that. I'm going to pull this board off. Reattach it again after I take that brad nail out and recut this piece here so I messed that up I tried to repaint where that was the paint came out in a big blob and it just uh, yeah it's okay sometimes you mess up 
and sometimes you don't and when you do you have to be okay with it all right I did get this piece recut I'm gonna go ahead and put this in To tap that in with a hammer a little bit more. A little bit rough, but that's okay. All right. Moving on, we got our frame. That looks great. It's not perfect, but you know what? That's okay. I'm going to make that my bottom. Now, our sticks. All right, took the thickest piece that I had. I'm going to take these little knobs off. And what I'm going to do with this first one is I want the sides to be straight. So I'm going to use my saw and cut those straight. And what I'm going to do is cut just a little short piece and this is going to be the trunk of my Christmas tree. <laughs> so I want to cut these, make them a little bit neat. I didn't measure it. I did not measure it. I have a little piece here. That's going to be the trunk of the tree. So I will glue that there like that. And now I want a variety of thicknesses. So I'm going to start at the bottom, of course, with the thickest piece, which is this one. I'm going to cut that, neaten those ends up. sort of I'm not measuring I'm just eyeballing I want that first one to be about that long okay and that's gonna go like this and then my next thickness and then I'm just gonna go up and make them shorter and taper them Haha, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that cute? That is adorable. All right, how am I going to attach these, you ask? I'll show you. I'm simply just going to use a hot glue gun to attach those. But before I do that, I want to neaten up this frame a little bit. So I'm going to take these out. And I got a little piece of sandpaper. I'm just going to lightly sand over this. Remove my pencil marks. And kind of antique it a little bit if you like. So you just uh, scrape your sandpaper over a little bit until pieces of the wood show through. See that? Make it look old. And if you want to, you can take dabs of white paint to cover up the uh, brad nail holes there. And I just might do that. We'll see. Now to glue and place this stuff down. If you guys notice, I'm not trying to make it perfectly centered. I'm just putting it on there. But look at that. Just as cute and easy as can be. Couldn't have been any harder. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now, if you want to hang this up or stand it, you can get one of those. There's like little stands that you get from the Dollar Tree. You can just sit that right on there and hold it up like a picture frame. Or on the back, you can add a hanger. I think I might add a hanger on mine on the back. Maybe. You can do either way. Either way. I hope you liked today's craft. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.